Hey guys, so it's finally time for the video. Why the Nexus 4 may not be something for you. So it, it's one of my new white sucks videos here that I'm gonna do. And I've been doing videos like this on the HTC One X. I've been doing it uh, on the Samsung Galaxy S3 white sucks. That's a video that pisses a lot of people off. And um, I think it's kind of hilarious because these videos doesn't mean I hate the device. And this is something I say in every single White Sox video. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean I hate the device. This just means that I point out the things that is bad with it. I This is not a real review. This is only a review looking at the bad things. So let's say you are a guy looking uh, to see, you know, you want to, to you know find a, a video which is only focusing on the bad things with the phone then, you know, this is the video, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the bad things with the Nexus 4 from my perspective. So not a full review, I'm not gonna talk about the good things, there's a lot of good things. Those things is things I'm probably gonna go ahead and talk in another video. And then also, I might do a full review where I talk both good and bad. But in this video, only bad, okay? So don't hate before you have heard from what I said. And this is only from my perspective, okay? So let's start off with the first thing that I don't like with the Nexus 4. That is that it has a glass back, okay? It has a glass back. Now, why do I think this is bad? I don't think it's bad when you hold the device in your hand and play around with it, but I'm, I'm one of those guys that like to you know, put my device down on a table and use it. And if you do this with the Nexus 4, you can see it's moving around. It's annoying, as you can see here. It moves around. Let's say you are in the browser, okay? Let's let's go into the browser. Let's, let's, we'll load up a website over here, okay? This is something that really, really pissed me off. Let's say I want to zoom in here with the Nexus 4. It has a glass back, okay? Let's see here. Can you see? It's moving around. It is annoying. I want to scroll up and down. The device moves around. I hate it, okay? I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, that's something that Apple have learned with the new iPhone 5. It doesn't have a glass back anymore. Thank God, Apple, you finally learned. Uh, so that's the first thing I really, really hate with the Nexus 4, okay? Now, the second thing is the capacitive touch buttons. Let's fire up a game here. Uh, the capacitive touch buttons could be good. It could look nice, could make the device look very nice here in the front and stuff like that. Uh, but let's just go ahead and fire up a game and let's, let's see what can happen when you have these capacitive touch buttons built into the display. So let's just go ahead and fire up GTA YCT here from Rockstar. It's a new game from Rockstar. Or at least for Android devices and iOS devices. So it, it will load up the game here pretty quick. And I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this intro because we don't have to view the intro here because I'm only gonna go ahead and show you why I hate the capacity touch buttons. Oh my God, that's so annoying. You, you'll probably get used to this kind of problem in the future and be able to avoid it a little bit more. Uh, but you know, in the beginning, it's gonna be annoying. And I'm sure if you ever will get used to it, but okay. We have Y City open up here. Let's say you start to play, you know, you run around, and then let's say we want to do something over here. We have buttons down here. Look at this. Oops, what happened? Oh, yes. Oops, what happened? Oh my god. That, 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 could you see the problem here? Uh, when you have the buttons built into the display, they're very, very close to the buttons in the game, and I, d I don't like it, okay? I don't like it. It's annoying. Okay, so that's a very big problem there, uh, which I, I hate the capacitive touch buttons. Also, one very big problem with that is that let's say you have the display turned off like this. You want to quickly sh look at something on your phone here on your Nexus 4. Well, on most phones, you can just go ahead and tap here in the front because they have a button here. Now on this phone, you don't have any button on the front, which is annoying because there's only one way to activate it and you have to do it you have to hold the phone with like one whole hand to press that button on the side it's a little bit annoying you can't you know you, you can't uh, you know fire it up with only one hand or you can fire it up with one hand but not like one finger you have to do it on the side a little bit annoying a little bit annoying i don't i don't kind of like it I, I want a way to like be able to activate the phone on the front side that would be so much more awesome and so much more nice so and that's also one thing why I don't have, I don't like the capacitive touch buttons. 
Also, one big problem here uh, with the Nexus 4, which I've noticed, especially in the GTA games, uh, I will of course do more gameplay videos like Contract 1.6, where actually our CS Portable were actually running very, very good here on the Nexus 4. But some of the very, very big games from Rockstar, like GTA 3 and Y City, uh, performance wise, they aren't performing as good as phones like the Galaxy S3. Uh, you know, I, I felt some choppiness and stuff like that, and I will do a full review here, especially on YCT for the Nexus 4 here, I haven't done so, but especially in GTA 3, when you drive a car and stuff like that, you can feel some choppiness here, even though the Adreno 320 GPU that's available in this device should be better than what you get in the Galaxy S3, but I don't like the GPU performance, okay? And the Adreno 320 is, you know, probably most games aren't optimized for the Adreno 320 as uh, with the Mali 400 MP that's well when the Galaxy Note 2, the original Galaxy Note, the Galaxy S2, and the Galaxy S3. So in terms of game performance, it's not as nice, even though the GPS should be better. It may get better in the future. Now, also one big problem here I have with the Nexus 4 is that it only is, is well about an 18 and 16 gigabyte variant. You don't have an SD card, okay? You don't have an SD card, you can't expand the memory. So let's say, you know, you go for the 16 gigabyte variant, you take a lot of pictures, and then you download some two or three big games, then you can't do that much more with it because you don't have any more gigabytes. With the Galaxy S2 or Galaxy S3, you have that micro SD card option, so you can insert like a 64 gigabyte card, and then you're good to go, you know, it's chill. Also one thing that I kinda hate with the device, and it could be kinda bad with the Nexus 4, uh, especially uh, if you spill water or something on the device, you can't remove the battery, okay? So you can't have like a, also you can't have like a spare battery, but it's very good, like let's say you drop your phone in the water or something like that, usually it's, usually the, the one thing that could, you know, really destroy the device is if the battery breaks. Uh, and you know, with most other phones like the Galaxy 3 and Galaxy 2 and all those things, uh, or all those devices, you can remove the battery and let it dry, uh, but this device doesn't have a option to remove the back, okay? So you can't remove the battery, so, that's um, in this thing that you can't have a spare battery, and you can't also you can't you can't have like a a, a bigger battery because the Galaxy S3 is now getting like official bigger batteries like 3,000 milliamps that you can go ahead. Sure, it will make the device a little bit thicker, but this device is already thicker uh, originally than the uh, Galaxy S3. So that's also one very thing that I kind of hate. Uh, now, also one thing that I kind of hate with the device is the camera kind of lags. Uh, compared to my Galaxy S3 and my Galaxy Note 2. And also it seems like when it's focusing on stuff, like when you have things like this, it doesn't really seem to have that many, much details as the Galaxy S3 and my Galaxy Note 2. Uh, also, sure, the white balance is a little better, but overall, I don't like that kind of choppiness. And I've tried it also with the front-facing camera, and it also has like, like a laggy UI. Uh, same, that was one of the big problems I had with the, the HTC One X and something that I really did hate or that I really hated about that device. Uh, so the camera like that, I kind of hate it, okay? Even though the white balance is a little better, uh, I don't want camera lag. Now, also one very big thing here is, when you zoom in, especially in the browser, let's see here if we can go to the front side. Uh, one thing that I noticed, uh, and also that I've seen on some other reviews on the Nexus 4 is, when you zoom in, it's not as quick to react that you're trying to zoom in, as you see. I'm doing a little bit here in the beginning, you can see that it's not even trying to zoom in. There we go. And as you can see, if I want to zoom in uh, really, really close to the text, my fingers is already outside of the screen. So something that is extremely, extremely annoying is that it doesn't react as quick as on my Galaxy S3 and my Galaxy Note 2. I really, really hate that, okay? They, they should update that. Uh, because it really, really sucks that, you know, as you can see, it doesn't react there in the beginning when you're trying to zoom in. I'm not sure why, but they really have to fix that thing. Um, also, one thing that I kind of hate is the notification area. It's not as good as on my TouchWiz, on my Galaxy S3, my Galaxy S2. Uh, as you can see here, if you quickly want to access these quick, like turn on Bluetooth, turn on GPS and stuff like that, on my Galaxy Note 2, uh, I quickly already have the widgets up here and I also have a brightness control. Extremely, extremely good. But here you first have to do it like this, and then you have to tap up there. And then you have to activate things. And also, uh, let's say you just want to disable Wi-Fi pretty quick. Uh, it's not like on a TouchWiz UI on my Galaxy Note 2, then I can quickly just tap to disable it. But here it will basically go into the settings and then I have to disable it. So it's too much clicking and, and, and you know touching stuff 
on the Nexus 4 compared to my awesome Galaxy Note 2 and Galaxy S3. I do know that if you tap on two buttons or have two fingers up here at the top, you can quickly access this area, but still too much. I mean, like, I don't want to have two fingers just to quickly change something. I think it's more, way more natural on my Galaxy Note 2 to just swipe down like this and then use quickly to go those things. So that's something also I don't like here with the Nexus 4. Also, something that I also have noticed a little bit is that this device could have a dra battery drain issue, uh, but it could also just be the game that I tried out, but I tried out to see it's portable, and I was just making it like a 10 minute long video, and it, the battery went from like 15% to 0% in 10 minutes, and it felt like that was kind of quick battery drain over there, uh, but it could just be to see it's portable, could be something else, uh, that's well not optimized. So there you go. Here was my video by why Nexus 4 why it sucks and the things that I've noticed and personally myself. If I find something more, I might do a video about it or may even remake remake this video. Uh, but yeah, we will see. Hopefully, you have an awesome day right now. And uh, don't hate on me, bro. Peace out.